Would you please discuss the nutritional improvements of our school lunches? The nutritional improvements of our school lunches began in September. We took, with the help of outside sources, we have revamped the entire menu, and on October 1st, the students got to see new food that they've never seen before, and some of the food is being made from scratch instead of just cut open from a bag and thrown on a tray and heated up. So they get, they're getting fresh made mashed potatoes, scrambled eggs, and other stuff like that. This is the first year District 201 has had a staff and student wellness program on each campus. Each campus is implementing a staff program that's providing physical activity and nutrition education to the staff to improve their wellness. And the student program is providing ap extra opportunities for the students to get physically active outside of the school day. How are the wellness programs and activities impacting our school district this year? Well, this year, you know, we, we got uh, awarded a wellness grant, and uh, Ms. Tonis, uh, she's been the director of that program, and she's done an excellent job with that, and obviously, We've been able to put on some uh, uh, seminars for our teachers. I talked about with the rubric system, and, and these people have come in and shown how we can do a better job in our PE classes for our, for our students. And then also with this grant, is not only doing that for our students, but also having activities for our staff. So they're doing things from walking classes, Zumba classes, and all that stuff after school. How are the wellness programs and activities impacting the school district this year? One of the activities you've got in the background right now is our faculty versus student softball game. Uh, the students were selected from the uh, boys baseball team and girls softball team and we hope with this that we develop more interest into other activities, other sports like basketball, um, maybe even individual things, uh, whether it be running competitions, a track and field event, badminton, things of that nature. How are the wellness programs and activities impacting our school district this year? I believe our wellness programs and activities are, are helping out our school district and improving our school district due to the fact that we're offering numerous opportunities for students to be involved and uh, th activities like this softball game again things that are happening and things that are getting kids involved and getting kids to be active so I, I think it's really helping us out. What are your responsibilities as the building coordinator? Uh, my responsibilities are to plan programs to make sure that um, it is known in the in the school and to hopefully get more people into wanting to come to all these activities. What are your responsibilities as the building coordinator? Uh, I do a lot of advertising for the faculty to find out uh, what they're interested in, what activities would they like to do, and then we set up those activities. We ask certain faculty if they can volunteer their time to uh, conduct some of these classes, or if not conduct, definitely participate. How are the wellness programs and activities impacting our school district this year? It impacts the staff by introducing new activities for the staff to uh, get, go and try. For, uh, for example, we have yoga lattes Monday and Wednesday, and we also have Zumba on Thursdays. And eventually we would like to get staff versus students in some like uh, dodgeball or volleyball, different activities. The programs and activities are impacting our school district this year. It's giving kids an opportunity to find different things they're interested in, find different things to improve their overall health and well-being. It's giving the staff an opportunity to get together outside the classroom. Why should someone get involved in wellness programs and activities? I believe somebody should be uh, getting involved in our wellness programs and activities. Uh, Due to the fact that we have so many great activities going on here, it just, it just enhances their school life here at Morton West and at Morton East High Schools. Why should someone get involved in wellness programs and activities? Staff and students should get involved in our wellness programs and activities because it gives them a chance to get their daily physical activity in. And also an activity is like the staff student softball game that gives them a chance to see the, the students get a chance to see the staff in a different light. And same with the staff and the students. They get time to um, do things together outside of the classroom. And in this setting, the st staff get to be a role model for the students. Why should someone get involved in wellness programs and activities? Healthy lifestyle. We've got a number of people uh, that acknowledge that obesity and poor diet, lack of exercise, these are all the primary causes of some of the lifestyle diseases like heart disease and heart attacks, uh, stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes, and things of that nature. And when identifying these, we need to know what to do to prevent them. And that is getting involved in some of the athletics, some of the sports, some of the fitness-based uh, activities that we're offering now.
Would you please explain what the activity Tai Chi is and how this activity will benefit our school district? Tai Chi is a meditation martial arts activity. It is helping some of the staff find ways to meditate and relax after school and other ways to be physically active that people aren't doing. They're not going out and playing basketball or running miles on end. It's something that they're finding unique that fits their personal needs and wants. What is Tai Chi? Tai Chi is an uh, ancient art that comes from China, on the, from the mountains of Wudang. It's an art that has many applications, one being uh, cleaning and purifying the body in the health aspect, also uh, clearing the mind so you can also have a healthy, more social, socially friendly mind, and um, basically brings harmony, inner harmony with you and your surroundings. It also has a martial arts application for self-defense. However, if you're in uh, harmony with yourself and others, there's no need to get into aggressive confrontations. Uh, you can maneuver any obstacle or any opposition in a beneficial manner for both you and the opponent. The best martial artist wins without lifting a fist.